Okay, review games part two. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit the back button and then we'll go back here to the review games. So under the review games, um, you'll notice I just finished that game and if you look, the position is left off where I left it. So if I click on it, it's gonna go back to that last position. So when you hit back, it's also gonna update this little tiny board that's next to it. So that kind of shows you the last position. So that's kind of helpful. If you know the position, you can look at it on your on your chest noter device. It's a little small, but it's, it's still there so you can see it. One of the things in the review games up here is those uh, three dot buttons, which will have some more menu options. In here, you can do a default sort, uh, which is what it is now. So it goes newest to oldest. Uh, you can choose to do an oldest to newest sort. So it'll bring up the last game that was played. Um, or um, you can go back to the default sort, which will put the newest game on top instead of the oldest game. Uh, in here, you can also um, search by event name. So if you know the event name, you can type it in. So um, maybe if I want to just do a search for like West, it's going to show every single tournament with the name West in it. Uh, and all that information is going to be in there. Um, I can also, uh, if I go back, whoop, sorry. Uh, if I go back at the top, I can also search by a player name. So if I was doing a search for Doe, I could find all the games with Doe in it. Uh, and it's going to find all the players with Doe. Um, so it, there's... You know, every single game has got Doe on here, so it'll find it. Um, so essentially, you can do different searches by player names, by event names, and then you can also do sort. So uh, th that's basically the review game section in a nutshell, and we'll go ahead and continue on.